This is a quick demo of Switchboards, my Node.js uh, Node application I built for home automation. Uh, it integrates a number of different APIs, including uh, here you can see smart things. Here's all my devices. And you can simply click a device to turn my hall light off. Click it again, it turns the hall light on. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Things like here's my presence sensor. It's red, which or it's uh, blue, which means it's active because I'm home. Here is Nest, has my smoke detectors and my thermostat. Uh, my TV, it's grayed out because it's turned off. My PlayStation 3, it's also grayed out because it's off. My Roku's in the other room, has shortcuts to different applications that I have installed on it. I have a camera in the other room, and you're able to navigate around. It's got a little bit of lag right now, but you can see it moves, and you have uh, shortcuts to quickly jump to certain positions. You can arm, disarm, take a photo, or take a series of quick snapshots. Here's a bunch of traffic cameras, which are kind of a read-only simple thing, but they're nice to have on the dashboard if you're interested in traffic. Kind of a new addition is this location information where when my phone is connected to my car via Bluetooth, it will send a uh, request to a public server of mine that includes speed, elevation, um, time, and latitude, longitude information. So here I can click and it would take me to a Google map of where I was at that given time, speed, and elevation. The use case of that is potentially that you, your house could see when you're coming home, so it can maybe uh, act on that. I have stock information. This is grayed out because after hours you can see the stocks are doing pretty poorly. Weather, it's cloudy right now. Um, Travis, which is a CI uh, platform, which it builds uh, switchboard every time I commit. Here the blue check marks means every one of these is passed. If it was a failed, it would have been a red X. My building has a uh, board in the lobby that displays packages that people have had that are delivered. So when a package is delivered, I scrape that same API and I can trigger an action based on a package arrival. Here my gym, uh, I'm interested in seeing what the workouts are. So here's the last three, it just pulls RSS. It can also do atom feeds. <clears throat> this is a new addition, this is a thing called Gertie. It's like a simple robot. And he's an emoji, so that's a single character, which is easily transferable, but he's also vector-based, so it's, it, he always looks pretty good. Um, and his emotional state is based on parameters uh, from all the devices. So I'm home, my wife is not, so that's kind of good or bad. Uh, the Nest, the thermostat's off, but it's a comfortable temperature, so that's fairly neutral. The TV's off, that's bad. PlayStation's off, that's bad. So he takes all these different things. He sees my stocks are doing poorly, so that bumps him out probably the most. And that comes to him being kind of in this neutral or bored state. And there are certain things that we can do to make him more excited. And that would be including um, turning on the TV would make him happy. But you can simply tap his face, and he kind of does these little animations to keep things interesting. But you tap his face, and it basically starts uh, the uh, speech recognition. So we can do a simple command like, Turn off the hall light. You got it. So there, he gave an affirmative response. He turned off the hall light. You can trigger multiple actions. Toggle the hall light and the office switch. All right. So there, he turned on my uh, office and he turned, or no, he turned off my office and he turned on the hall light. Um, but there are other things like macros that you can send to him. So uh, we'll do something like. We'll set of the macro list run. Heat the living room. Sorry, I don't understand. So he didn't understand that, so maybe he understands. Cool the living room. All right. Balcony door open and air conditioner is on. And then it sent a pushover notification that balcony door open and air conditioner is on. So he did the action. He turned on the Nest thermostat. But he also detected that on smart things, a totally different platform, that the balcony door was open. So he sends you this notification as kind of warning, like, hey, you're, you're maybe doing something stupid here, including wasting energy, which is never good. So he'll wait a minute to figure out if, well, are you just stepping out real quick, or is this actually, are you leaving it open? So we'll leave it open for a while. Watch a movie. Sounds good. So here he immediately becomes happy because I'm turning on my PlayStation, I'm turning on my TV, that, that's something that's entertainment based. He's super stoked on that kind of stuff. So we'll wait for this to boot up for a second. But all these different... Balcony door open, air conditioner turned off. So here it's grayed out because he's turned off the air conditioner for me. 
So he tries to use as many natural uh, interfaces as you can. So if somebody knocks on my door, that triggers on smart things that I have a, um, a vibrate on a sensor on the front door and the door doesn't open. Well, that means that I should probably do something because somebody's there. So he'll actually ring a doorbell uh, MP3 both on in, in my office connected to a cheap speaker and he'll broadcast it out through WebSockets to all clients connected. And here you can see he's turned on my PlayStation got me ready to watch a movie. And of course, you can use the normal interfaces for the TV and the PlayStation. Um, and then from here, you can just turn off your PlayStation, and it will trigger a series of commands automatically. He turned on the PlayStation TV and stereo, switched sources, and did all that. But here, I'm telling him, just run all the commands that turns off my PlayStation reliably. Um, and then for the TV, you can, you can, of course, hit the power off button, or you could just tell him, turn off the TV. I can do that. So there, he's turned off the TV for me. And of course, I could have just hit the, uh, the little red button there. So it's going to take a second for the TV to realize that it's turned off. Uh, so I have to wait for a timeout on one of the pings. So there, it's turned off pretty quickly, and he's back to his bored state. And that's a quick